You think that what we're fighting about is stupid Just cause you don't agree don't mean it's stupid Lately communication feels so useless If we don't got that obsessive love then what are we doing? I don't ask for much from you It's like you don't got the time to lose Make me feel like I'm a burden When I tell you how I'm hurting, no You just take your story to sink your deep I ain't over it So let me take my time and talk my shit Alright, so we back again with another message here I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage Remember, uh, to always put socks on <laughs> All right. Always remember to put on some clean drawers and some clean socks because you never know who's going to be. Yeah, you know, you know the rest. OK. All right. So thank you for joining me this morning. It's currently uh, 748 a.m. on July 18th, 2024. Um, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny here. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? Uh, new subscribers, current subscribers, OGs. With you savage apple seeds <clears throat> thank you i love you guys appreciate you very much all the mods in the chat all people in the chat i appreciate you as well intergalactic beings galactic federation hi how you doing <laughs> all right spirit guys spirit teams law enforcement y'all are the jedis that that ass y'all are the jedis y'all putting in work for the collective we appreciate that very much so um, who am I forgetting? Ancestors, 5D and 3D ancestors. I appreciate you as well. And Archangels, Guardian Angels, Most High God, thank you very much for keeping us alive, keeping us safe, protecting us, keeping us sheltered, keeping us um, tempered throughout this very ill tempered time period. That's what I just heard. And what's up, baby? Good morning. I love you. Thank you. All right, wherever you are in this world, in this galaxy, so, a couple of things. Somebody pasted, uh, uh, posted a comment underneath one of my videos and go and said, "Are you the weatherman? Or are you or are you or are you a reader?" I don't know, bitch. You're blocked from the channel, so don't ask no more questions. <laughs> okay. Also, too. So this is now. So remember I told you like uh, there was like this presence of, of a spirit that was like sitting on the edge of my bed. How about uh, one of my uh, like one of my like my first best friend I ever had when I was growing up. He passed away um, a while ago. He appeared in my dream the other night and we hung out and everything. That's who was at the end of my bed. So it was very good to see him. Um, somebody I love very much and I and, and I'm and, and, and it's good to know I'm getting God bumps it's good to know that they you know people still look out for us and people still love us and miss us um, and check on us when uh, they, they they cross over they transition so that's what that was about that's what I think it was about so we're gonna jump into this reading here Archangel Michael please clear out the energy for this so I give a clear and concise message to the collective now this I'm starting to really kind of the kittens they knock over cards uh, for some I, I don't know how they're getting them out of the box but cats are smart they scoop but you know this the 8-bit tarot deck which I love very much I like this deck um, was spilled out on the floor here I just noticed so we're gonna pull some energy on that spirit said grab a spirit animal card to get kicked to get this kicked off so we're gonna do that here enough dead space <laughs> all right let's see bat so we're talking
talking about air. All right. Darkness, letting go, death leading to rebirth. So we're talking about transformation. Okay. Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of subtle senses, of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns, no more lingering in the past. Okay? When in balance, accepts, adapts, and adjusts. When you're out of balance, refuses to let go, reminisces. To bring yourself back into balance, watch the sun rise. The bat. I'm Batman. Somebody could like Batman? Well, I mean, who doesn't like Batman? Come on now. But this is very significant. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, spirit, you got pay attention to what spirit is telling you. So there's a chapter. So something's coming to a close here. Mm -hmm. The closing of a chapter, closing of a door, the ending of a cycle I just heard. So there's an ending of a cycle here. Now, you may be feeling a little stuck. You may be feeling like, when is this going to end? Now, this did, it did fall out in the reverse. So there needs to be somebody needs to let go of something here. OK, and, and, and accept the fact that something is coming. A chapter is coming to a close here. So let's see what that is. So let's see what we're talking about here. OK. So we're going to leave it in the reverse because somebody is not letting go. There's something that somebody's not letting go of in the collective energy. So let's see. We're going to use these cards here. Get out of my shoe. Out of my shoe. Come on, Punky. Come on. Come up here. And come up here. Well, maybe not. We got two cards that came out. We got an emperor in the reverse and the queen of wands in the upright. <clears throat> we got an emperor in the reverse that's uh, obviously not letting go of a queen of wands. Okay. All right. So we got the queen of wands out here. So you could be, we got, that's Aries energy um, and Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, but uh, right away, I'm seeing that an emperor refuses to let go of a queen of wands. Okay, refuses to let it go. So tell us what's going on here. We got the sun to the king of wands. So there goes a match, okay? Got another card out here. Spirit, thank you, Spirit. We got the Ten of Swords here in the reverse. And we got the Knight of Wands in the reverse as well. One more. Or however many. magician uh, so you could be the feminine energy queen of wands here you could be the karmic emperor that's watching this channel that should probably unsubscribe and go fuck yourself you feel me I'm feeling I'm in a mood today y'all not a bad mood but I'm in a mood <laughs> okay it's a whole mood it's a whole vibe over here today tap in Somebody's got a brand new passionate beginning here with a with the king of wands here. So your vibrational match is coming into your energy. Um, this emperor is trying to. There's some magic here, of course. This person is very with the knight of wands in the reverse. This person is. very upset about this okay 
this person knows that you have something that you're studying. Uh, maybe this person refusing to let go. Let's just say that this person is not is very not a wandish. That's a little sweet dick Willie. This this emperor energy here. Uh, so you could have probably walked away from this person's spirit. Says, yeah, that's the truth. This person is trying to block seven of wands here. This person's trying to block this connection here. This person's doing magic. Okay, this emperor refusing to let go of this queen of wands is doing some magic to block. <laughs> I can't make it up to block this connection. Now, this person refuses to let go with the ten of swords in the reverse. So they're they're doing some type of magic, probably come to me spells. Uh, with the Knight of Wands here, they're probably doing some type of sex, sex magic on you as well. Because the Knight of Wands does talk about somebody using that wand in a very uh, uh, low vibrational way in the reverse. So this person is doing sex magic to keep you, to block this connection from this King of Wands. Okay? Whoever this person is, is uh, this person likes to play a lot of video games. This person is a gamer. That's why I'm picking up on the fact that this, these cards came out or were on the floor. This person is younger or is very immature. Let's say that. But this person um, plays a lot of games. This person likes to play video games. This person is a gamer, I just heard. Tell me about this King of Wands here. That's coming into the collective's energy here. Hmm. Give me, uh, so the Two of Pentacles came out here. So with this magic that this person is doing it so this person might know this this person has to know that you're that this person's coming towards you or that there's some type of brand new passionate beginning here uh, a brand new start here uh, something that's going to make you very happy this person knows that they're a magician they divinate uh so they they probably pulled some cards or you know looked into a crystal ball or um has been spying on you i don't know but they know this Whatever they're doing, though, is working or has worked because this person that uh, this King of Wands, who is your match, is on the fence about whether or not they should or they should not. This person is very kind of guarded. I feel like that's part of this magic that's going on here or this manipulation or whatever the case may be. Please give me some more energy on this. Thank you, spirit. This person's doing something it's in spirit. OK, they're using some type of magic. This person is is doing, I'm telling you, this person is doing sex magic on you. Uh, with the high priestess here, yeah, let's see what else comes out. Hold on. 944 on the clock. One second. All right, we're back. Knocked over the damn water bowl. In 101 Dalmatians, did they end up keeping all those dogs? Okay. Eight of Swords. Somebody's somebody's been doing magic to trap somebody in, to trap to to stop something here, to keep somebody trapped. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. This person's been doing magic on your on your on your masculine to keep them trapped in their head about coming towards you. This person could possibly know this person. Thank you, Spirit. Temperance card. This person is an Earth Angel energy. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. This person coming towards you it is the King of Wands, so it's a fire sign. Okay, but. Yeah, I'm telling you, to keep this person, that this person could be having bad dreams. You could be having bad dreams. The both of y'all could be having bad dreams. Yep, Spirit says that's the truth. Ace of, Ace of Pentacles here. This person has been doing magic to prevent this person or prevent you from moving forward into this sun energy, this sun reality I just heard. A new reality here. This person is out of touch with reality. But they ain't out of touch. Confirmation. They ain't out of touch with that magic. <laughs> I'm telling you. People. When people have to solve their problems now. People are literally running to do magic. I. I and, and, if, and, if the, and if that's not a, a, a clear sign that the world is changing. Like we are in a type. We are in a very spiritual world. We are. Uh, the veil has been lifted. We are in the age of the Aquarius. Where people are starting to recognize their gifts and who they are, or what they, or what or what kind of 
energy or, or powers people can tap into, this is proof. People are running to do magic to solve all of their problems these days. It doesn't matter what it is. They want to keep somebody. They, they doing magic. They don't want to go broke. They doing magic. You know, they, they want to get rid of somebody. They doing magic. Everybody's doing magic except me. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Not everybody, you know what I'm saying? But it's just kind of like a lot of people are doing magic. I'm not doing no magic on nobody. I'm not doing magic to keep anybody or to attract anybody. I'm not doing anything like that. What is wrong with people? Okay. Yeah. There you go, Emperor. Emperor, Empress at the bottom of the deck here. Now, this was in the reverse. Here goes one of those couples again. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Let's see. Mm -mm. This Emperor could really be in their toxic feminine energy. Very jealous. Very uh, insecure. Uh, Doing a lot of low vibrational masculine feminine things. This person could be bisexual as well as what I just heard. Okay. What else? King of Swords in the reverse. What is this? Eight of Pentacles. This person made you lose your job or they'll be losing their job but I think I feel like this person has made you lose your job okay this person's been attacking attacking you because they don't want something to end okay so you could have possibly lost a job with the six of wands in the reverse of the eight of Pentacles in the reverse of the king of swords this person is really kind of in their feelings this is an emperor though so this person does have a lot of power okay yeah justice what about justice Spirit says that's the truth. This person's a Libra. This emperor is a Libra. Mm -hmm. The hangman. To the will of fortune. Yeah, the hangman in the reverse. To the will of fortune. Clarify. This person's tried to keep you stuck, but you're protected. Your will of fortune is protected. All right, uh, with the Ace of Wands here, it's protected by God. I can't make it up. So whoever's coming towards you is your God-ordained kind of spouse. Okay? This is your God-ordained spouse. This is God. God is protecting you from this person. And what happens? People do too much. We got the Knight of Swords here. Fast-moving action. Fast-moving Knight in the deck. We got the Eight of Wands. So this person's getting fast karma. This person's getting karma. Okay? Eight of Wands in the reverse of the Knight of Swords. Oh, it's coming in quick for this person. It damn sure is for this person. This person doesn't want to let go. Okay? This person does not want to let go. Let's see why this person does not want to let go. Let's use the Egyptian God Oracle cards. The Egyptian Oracle cards. Okay? Side note here. No, never mind. Eight oh eight on the clock. Okay. Let's get another card out here. Why well, want this? What, what's up with this person? Why doesn't this person want to let go here? Hermitage. This person views you as somebody that they need for their spiritual or religious journey. So you could you could have been like a. Um, Yeah, because this person is not wise. Wisdom in the reverse. This person depends on you for wisdom. This person, you're kind of like a muse for this person. Maybe you're like this person's good luck charm. Oh, that. Okay. Mm. 
justice in the reverse to resourcefulness. So this person has done some things that are illegal. Resourcefulness. This person is... <laughs> that's the first time I've ever considered that. So somebody's very resourceful in, in, in the whole kind of energy of doing things illegal. This person has, has been using the justice system as a resource or doing or, no there's something here with justice okay there's something here with justice here death and rebirth i'm telling you because they don't want to accept what's happening this is this is going to happen it, this has to happen so this it's kind of like this person has a lot of resources probably maybe within the justice system this person could possibly be doing that uh using their resources to commit crimes against you okay this person could be a lawyer. We got we, it's a Libra out here twice. This person could be a lawyer, okay? This person's either a lawyer or a Libra. They could be both. Or say they one, okay? Yeah, because they don't want to let go. They're trying to hold on. This person has been using this person has been using their their connections in the, in in whatever kind of justice field. Uh, what am I trying to say here? This person has a lot of legal resources. This person has been using law, some type of some type of. This person has been using illegal tactics to, to, to keep you to keep you restricted. Okay. Yeah, they've been doing this to block. They've been blocking you. Okay. They've been they've been using they've been using the law or something. They've been doing something very illegal. But see, the way I'm trying to to to, to word it. Okay. So let's just say this person is like an attorney, and this this attorney has connections in the justice you know what i'm saying i can never get, i can never remember that but this person has connections within the justice you know what i'm saying the justice field i can never remember that this person doesn't want me to say this like I, i'm telling you this person has connections within the legal field okay let's just say that this person has connections to like cops lawyers judges let's say that because that's the way i'm reading this this person has used that those connections to restrict you to block things for you possibly by casting illusions yeah lying to people this person has been lying to people with the page of wands to the seven of to seven of cups here this person has been telling lies on you so that you so that people won't so that people will not fuck with you so that people uh pass you up for offers so that you're looked over this person has been doing a whole lot okay This person has been doing a whole lot. If you want to, if you want to, if you, if you really want to get, if you really want to see how ugly and ignorant people can get, piss off a Libra. And don't get me wrong. I love Libras. I'm an air sign. Okay. There are some, there's good and bad and everything. But if you really want to see your world get turned upside down, fuck, piss off a Libra. Okay. Like seriously. They slick with it too, yeah. But this is all being stopped. Okay, this is this is stopping. God has stepped in with the, in protecting you with the higher font to the Ace of Wands. You are being heavily protected by the Most High God. Okay. Let's see where we at. Twenty one hundred. When I look down, one on one on the clock. So this is some good tea. Is some good note. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So let's see what else we got. The Three of Cups here. Um, at the bottom of the deck here so you're gonna have a reason to celebrate here uh with this new love connection okay whoever this new love connection is this king of wands this king of pentacles i'm sorry is is somebody that's wants to make this investment they're gonna take this risk to make this investment into you into you i keep saying that so maybe you're gonna get pregnant i don't know okay you're gonna drop some seeds in your baby that's what i heard this is person this person coming towards you king of pentacles here somebody very wealthy this is also very much a boss um 
I would say that you know there's not two emperor cards are coming out here, but this person is showing up as two kings. Um, you show up as the empress. This is your emperor. This person that you were with before was your false masculine, your twin lame, whatever the case may be. But this king of pentacles is coming through to, to, to celebrate with you. The three of cups, you're going to have a reason to celebrate. Yeah, this person views you as a star, okay? Or you are a star. This person is a star. You're just a very healing energy. You are a star seed, okay? This person is coming. They're going to take a risk. It's going to happen, okay? To make this the seven of pentacles here. Now, the king, the, the knight of pentacles, I believe, was behind that. Yeah, it's... This has taken a while, okay? It's been taking a while. So you possibly have been picking up on the fact that, you know, we can pick up on when people are coming into our energy or when somebody's playing in our energy or when somebody's interested in what we are, who we are as people. Uh, you may have been feeling, yeah, like somebody's maybe been thinking about it or why coming, you know, so you could maybe feel somebody for a while now has been watching you. It's this new masculine, okay? Yeah, but they're, but they're going to be making a decision here. Mm -hmm. They are going to make a decision. Uh, let's see. So we got the three of swords out here. This is some type of betrayal, but this, but this, the ace of cups is here though. So let's see, we got the, the, the judgment. What's the judgment? So somebody's heart's going to get broken. There's always somebody's heart gets broken in matters of love. But there's something here about this three of swords. Tell me. Tell me about this three of swords here. Whoever this masculine is, um, there's an issue with this family. There's some type of betrayal that's occurred with this family. Maybe this family doesn't want this person coming towards you uh, because they are taking a risk here. Okay, they're taking a risk. Uh, with the Three of Swords, clarifying the Three of Swords, there's some Ten of Pentacles energy here. So it's like maybe family. Uh, a family that they're getting away from. Six of Swords. To the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Page, I'm sorry, Page of Cups in the reverse. They're not talking to these people. I don't know. That could be very significant for somebody. Because they're choosing love with a... So these people are somebody's considering this like a betrayal i don't know that's weird yeah because they love you you're their, you're their twin flame they're making a choice i just said ba, 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 ba. somebody's making a choice somebody always gets their hearts there's always going to be a broken heart when it comes to matters of love and that's a shame well unless, you know when it comes from like family okay there's no reason why fam a family should a family member should be heartbroken over who somebody chooses to be with it's you know, the thing that trips me out about that is that family members, they get to be who they like while they're sitting around judging about who somebody's gonna be with, they get to lay they get to lay up and, and, and be with who they want to be with. So why can't anybody else? And most times often than not, the person that they choose to chose to lay up with is is way more toxic than anybody that when it comes to level of toxicity, the, the people that these family members choose to be with are so very toxic. You feel me? So they don't have any business. They don't have a right or any business t trying to tell anybody who they can and cannot be with. You know, my son's been with some people. I've been like, man, I don't like that. My 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 words. I don't like that bitch. But do you, son? I'm not gonna be disrespectful to her. I'm gonna be nice to her when you bring her around because, hey, that's who you chose to be with. You know, that's how things should be because you are this person's twin flame. Okay, this is your. This is their. This person is making a choice. Yeah. To build new memories here with you leaving something else behind you feel me the devil in the reverse breaking away from toxic situations person's going to come and they want to give and receive with you you feel me there's going to be a give and take here a requited love they are doing it very slick though to come bring in this partnership towards you so be on the lookout queen of pentacles there you go there goes your matches again this is your match they're coming to make an offer okay Probably a proposal. There's a lot of that energy going on in these readings this morning. They want to collaborate with you. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Cups. There he goes. Dropping those burdens. They've been through a lot. Dropping that burdens, especially. So you got you got your ex, you got your ex doing weird ass sex magic on you, and this person's family probably trying to block the connection as well. But they're coming in. I can't make it up. They're coming in to make this offer of love for you, okay? Expect it. They're coming in. Hey, somebody could possibly be traveling to come towards you as well. Yep. 
Again, this is all being done in secret. You have no idea what this is about, okay? <laughs> and this is going to close out this cycle for you. You feel me? All right. So that's it. Let's get some uh, Oracle energy out here and then we'll go. Somebody could be a Leo. Okay. August 19th could be a very significant birth date. I know a lot of Libras. I'm sitting here thinking about I know a ton of Libras. I was that I was very close with. Close to, close with, whatever. Had a lot of fun with them too. Like we were always very close, but then you know, people become imbalanced when they're supposed to be balanced. I don't know. It's just weird. Libras you piss off a Libra, it's a problem though. I'm just saying. And not to say you should walk on the eggshells around Libras, but you piss off a Libra. You gonna know you gonna know you pissed off a Libra. Okay? Libras get petty as hell though. The Libras are petty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all are. Home. 44. <laughs> fo fo. Okay. Ain't that a gun? Isn't that caliber of a gun? Grab my fofo. Okay. Somebody, so there's going to be a new home here. Somebody could possibly be moving into a new home or this person's coming in and they want, they, you, they consider you home. That's what it could be. Yeah. Divine, everything in divine timing. It took a while. I'm telling you. And look at this. Two birds on there too. Everything in divine timing coming together. Yeah. One more. Feminine energy. 17. Okay. Yeah, let's get one more out here. That was just at the bottom here. Anything else? Psychic development. You can feel this happening to you. This is going to be good for your psychic development. I mean, it's a twin flame soul connection here. It's going to be very grounding for you here. It's going to be very... I'm picking up on the fact that this is going to be something very good, especially considering the fact that... Whoever this uh, weird ass Libra is has been doing magic over your finances, your stability, um, making you lose your job and stuff. This is going to be very good. This is this is what the doctor ordered. Final message. Twenty two o'clock. A hey, masculine and feminine energy, masculine energy, both coming out together. This is this is this is your twin flame. OK. Does it bother you when people whistle? I know sometimes people get really upset when people whistle for whatever reason. Generally speaking, people are whistling because they're happy. So if anybody doesn't like the fact that somebody's whistling, that means they're probably a miserable ass bitch. Okay? They're going to flag all these videos today. This shit going to sit in the yellow. <laughs> I don't care. I have a right to express myself. You can't censor me. Don't tread on me. Okay? Sometimes you just take one for the team. New Mexico. That could be very significant. And maybe you guys could be moving to New Mexico. Somebody could be from New Mexico. Nope. Indianapolis. The Hoosier State. Hey, Indiana, Indiana could be very significant as well. That's where they go blank. All right, that's it. I'm going to close out this message, close out the reading. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload, you feel me? I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Enjoy the rest of your day. Deuces. Savage.